What's happening, Polite Society? I hope you're having a good week. If you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel, I'm Alan. Today, I'm going to be continuing my Leadership as Male series, so let's delve in. One claim made by a few egalitarians, which I see in the comments section sometimes, is that gendered piety proponents like myself feel threatened by women. In Sarah Sumner's book, Men and Women in the Church, she writes, Sometimes a husband knows no other way to protect his self-image than to refuse to take the risk of sacrificing himself for the sake of his wife. It is not uncommon for a Christian husband to fear that his wife will upstage him. He feels afraid that if his wife takes off, mounting up wings like an eagle, then he'll be left alone waddling around feeling stupid. The husband feels threatened. In another place, in writing about one of her seminary professors who would not allow her to teach his class, she states, By this I believe my professor was trying to tell me that the men in his class would not feel like men if I were to stand as their teacher. More specifically, I believe he was saying that he would not feel like a man if I were to teach his class. Since this isn't a biblical argument, there is no refutation of faulty exegesis required. But like most egalitarian arguments, this one likewise contains a fallacy. Sarah Sumner is making an ad hominem attack. In essence, her claim is that supporters of the patriarchal position like myself have some type of emotional insecurity. And that is the real reason we endorse, defend, and promote male leadership in the family, church, and society. But just exactly how does Sarah Sumner know the intentions of my heart or those of millions of other conservative Christians? Debaters and logicians frequently remind their students to avoid making ad hominem arguments. Ad hominem attacks fail to interact with the facts, logic, reason, and evidence presented by the other side. Instead of keeping the center on the issue at hand, they shift the focus away from the subject and instead attempt to try to character assassinate the other person. It is true that there are a large number of loud, rebellious, and unsubmissive women in Big Eva today, and that is a big problem. But I am in no way, shape, or form intimidated by the argumentation utilized by egalitarians and their followers, as this series has demonstrated. I will never sit in a local church assembly, a Bible study, or a conference in which a woman is attempting to teach. The reason for this is not because I feel threatened or inferior or unmanly or any of the other things Sumner mentions in her book. It's because I do not want to disobey what God has directly told us in his sacred word about women speaking in the church. In summation, this egalitarian argument, like the others we've looked at in this series, is fallacious, illogical, and unconvincing. The scriptures clearly teach that the office of pastor, elder, and overseer, which are used interchangeably in the New Testament, is restricted to qualified males only. They also teach that the husband is the head of the household, and the wife is commanded to obey and submit to him. Ladies and gents, if you want to share your own thoughts, be sure to do so in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content here, you can subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right. Then you can hit the bell for notifications. I upload a new video every Wednesday and every Saturday. The source material which I used for this video is provided in the video description below. It's Dr. Wayne Grudem's title, Evangelical Womanism and Biblical Truth. Have an awesome week. And for my brothers and sisters in the Lord, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all always. I will see you all in the next video. God's blessings on your week.